it is time that we meet the future king and see how bizarre he looks with Effie's hair colour. Though, uh, I've, Effie's hair colour is slightly blonde, I think, in terms of the children, so it might look okay. Brother? Okay, so uh, at first I thought one of them was, was them. So, regarding uh, Siegbert, I think I have seen him before. Serenade's Forest did have a gigantic picture of him in one of the mechanics pages. And I may have seen him in video thumbnails too, but um, I guess this is the first time we'll be getting a good look at him. And I have not seen him with Effie's hair colour before. I mostly see him with Hinoka's, which I'm definitely going to be adding on Revelation. Because apparently he's actually very, very strong with Hinoka as his mother. In fact, that... Wait a second, I did set the right skills, right? Actually, this way I'm going to give, give Armored Blow and Aegis. Oh, he would learn Aegis anyway. But that's not really that bad, I guess. That's not bad. Or I could get go for Luna. Hmm. Great Knight or Paladin? That is the question. I'll have to think. Hmm. So yeah. Oh, also there's um. He often has blonde hair because of Charlotte, but uh, I just like Charlotte and Betty better. I'm sorry. Huh. This is a very nice looking swamp. Oh, hi there. Father. Oh, he looks actually pretty good with Effie's hair color. Yeah, that looks fine. I I like that. Yeah. So, he basically just looks like a younger version of Xander. Apparently, he's a little bit like Krom as well, personality-wise, which is why some people want to ship him with Kaldori on the third route. Sigbert. Sigbert. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> well, I'm glad that he's a blue unit to start out with. Yeah, so you now know that we totally destroyed Hoshido and uh, Realm is dead, and the situation's gone pretty bad, and also you probably know by now that your grandfather is actually possessed by a demon thing, and is really an evil slime monster. So your help would definitely be appreciated right about now. I'm sorry. No. Huh? Interesting, so he's very much the sort of young prince type. I've heard some people say that they find him very boring, but so far I think he's okay. I see. Well, we're not really disappointed. Father. Uh oh. Mm. Wait, they look like Hoshidans. <laughs> wow! We are certainly not disappointed in you, Sigbert! You definitely inherited your mother's strength. Ah, uh, don't you run off there. Wait. And meanwhile, Leo stays there because I haven't been using him in this playthrough. Okay, so suddenly bad. Ooh. Wow, this is no. Whoa, this is a huge map. That I was not expecting. This is an enormous map. Use all dragon veins, then rout the enemy. Unique victory condition. Burn wood, dry... Stop reinforcement. Reinforcements. There are reinforcements in this chapter! Well, that's going to be interesting. Okay, they're back. Ah, uh, free staffs are back. At least their skills aren't too sadistic. These enemies don't look all that bad. Whoa, hi there! Partner seal. Yeah, you thankfully don't move, so I'm not too worried about you. There's wooden bridges there. This is an interesting map. But if there are going to be reinforcements here, this looks like a perfect time to try and get my people up to scratch for the endgame. Okay, Silver Yumi Snipers, all with... The skills aren't too crazy, honestly. Didn't expect this map to be so huge, though. Like, this is a massive map. Almost feels FE4-like in its enormousness. It's very awesome looking, too. So, everyone there has Duelist Blow. Okay, and up here we've got some... Yeah, we've got this huge cliff here. This is very cool looking. It actually reminds me... I've been to places out in the countryside of Australia that actually look a lot like this, so yeah. Okay, you're all fairly identical. 
So really nothing too bad for this chapter. Only problem is you, you start in the middle of a whole ton of enemies and I need to promote you like right now. Okay, so you have Armored Blow and Aegis. And you do start with the Javelin, but you only have Iron Weapons at the moment. Hmm, your starting stats are alright, they could be better though. As King to be, you received the finest education, okay. Hmm. Also, apparently people are calling him Tall Bert because he's, well, apparently very, very tall. Due to certain DLC artwork he has. What's this? Gallants. When supporting a female ally, she... Oh, okay, it's not him who does... She deals plus four... Plus two damage. Okay. So, I did actually see the name of this skill on Serenade's Forest before, when I was comparing the Japanese and English names. In Japanese, this skill is called Ladies First. Which, given that I now know what it does, that actually does kind of make sense. Of course, the term Ladies First... Uh, in Japanese is probably a false friend. It's a borrowed term from English that does not mean what, what it means in English. In English it's somewhat literal, but in Japanese I think it actually just means, well, what they translated it as, actually. But, huh. That includes your mother, though, doesn't it? That could help. Alright, so... Uh, Alright, how many slots do we have? We have, well, we unfortunately are forced to bring Kamui here. And why is Effie not being... Bring did did did. Uh, for now, who do we? Okay, I don't think I need. I uh, Keaton and Valoria are already strong enough as it is. I don't know if I'll regret that or not, but they are already level nineteen. I do need to train them like the least out of everyone here. Definitely want Effie. I probably want Mozu too, actually. Uh, Midori is already semi fine. Actually, Kaze is actually decent too. So we have Kamui, Xander, Effie, Odin, Ophelia, Elise. Uh... In some ways, I'm not sure if I really need Camilla, but she is actually not that high, high levels. And I would need Nina to be a little higher level too. Uh, Midori and Kaze, that is the one problem. I'd like these two to be trained up as well. If anything, I would drop Kamui, but I'm not allowed to. Odin also needs to be trained up a little bit. Uh, I guess I can try and get these two up in the invasion, maybe. So let's see what we got here. So obviously, we're dealing with some magic users over on this side. And I'm still... I still like the idea of those reinforcements. Which means that my... that you go there... That my magically defensive people will head that way. And interestingly enough, Odin is not a magically defensive person. Okay, yeah, we need to pay close attention to the thick woods. Okay, I will mention this soon, but uh, I saw I just I just had a massive past Fire Emblem game fangasm moment when I saw that. Uh, I'll talk about that once I actually get to the chapter, but that is very, very cool. I don't, I don't think it's an intentional reference, but it's cool nonetheless. I think this is an okay setup. Let's go. <clears throat> Emerging from the water itself. Hmm. Yeah, this makes a lot of sense after we've seen Chapter 15. Wait a minute, I thought only Ruin Azura could do that. So, enemies emerging from water. Oh, I did hear something about a route chapter with enemies that spawn from water. So yeah, you're going to definitely be getting quite a bonus after I activate your thing. All these enemies seem to be able to move quite far through the forest. So the reason why I had this past FE moment fangasm here is, see this look, thick impassable woods and one single trail of normal woods in the middle. 
exactly like FE4 Chapter 2, where we meet Deirdre. That one little bit that they force you to pass through and then you meet Deirdre there, that is really cool. I, I mean, I know that's probably not an intentional reference, but I like it. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, you... Interesting. Oh, and, uh, I do much better with a sword than I do with a bow. Gotta be careful, though. Let's not get too in, on in over our heads. And we have this song. I love this song. This is another very nice, verdant-looking map, uh, just like the one that I did on the other route before this. Nice uh, jump there. That's it? Okay, somebody needs to... Oh, and now I'm mistaking Ophelia for, uh, yeah. For someone else. Unfortunately, he can't actually use his seal and attack in the same turn. And he doesn't even get his elbow room bonus there, but... You know, I just realised, if he goes Great Knight, he... Oh, that is a problem. That means that he'll start learning... Okay, so yeah, I need to think about this. So, for now, equipping that. So, obviously, he needs to use this. So, whoa, okay, yeah, that's definitely a big boost. Definitely taking after his mother with that strength, though. That is actually pretty great, but he doesn't have bad speed or skill either. Defense leaves a lot to be desired for a great knight, but that is actually quite decent. I mean, he'll have a non-generic palette as a paladin, but... And BBC, those are actually... Uh, not meaning to be a reference to any kind of TV channel, but those are actually not bad weapon ranks as well right off the bat. Because, yeah, he'll technically have an extra, a better, like, an extra weapon rank if he goes this class too, but the thing that I'm concerned about is that if he, uh, goes Paladin, the thing that I want is I want him to get Luna. But here's the problem. If he goes Great Knight, because thanks to Effie he has Armor Knight as a reclass option, he'll get the two Armor Knight skills before he gets Luna. And that means that he'll, yeah, he'll get... I mean, Natural Cover's a good skill, and that plus Elbow Room is pretty decent. But, yeah, that is the problem. Whereas if he goes Paladin, he'll learn Defender immediately. Actually, wait a minute. Will he learn all of the, the Armor Knight skills immediately if he goes Great Knight? I'm not sure. Basically, I want Luna. I'm actually thinking Great Knight might be a better option here. So, yes, Generic Palette Ahoy! We'll have to see just what skills he learns from this. Generic Palette time? Yes, Generic Palette! Look at that strength! Wow. Seriously, look, that is enormous. I love that. That's that's amazing. His strength practically doubles. So what does he get? Defense plus two and natural cover immediately. Okay. I think I should... Okay, plus three damage when fine with no terrain trains and minus three damage when fine with... Okay, that's kind of cool. Uh, you know what? That is not so useful. Let's get rid of that. Oh, he does get Luna immediately! Okay, that's good. I like that. Because that's what I wanted. Luna and Armored Blow. And now he can, uh, if I want to, I can buy another seal, reclass him to Paladin for the rest of those skills. So yeah, I kind of wanted both Luna and Armored Blow. This is really awesome. So this should hopefully be, uh, be pretty cool. Though Armored Blow does make it a bit hard to calculate exactly how much damage he's going to take from enemies on the enemy phase. Especially when he's a little bit, uh, he's not healed, so I might need to physic him, maybe? Uh, if anything, I'll get rid of that. And yes, he gains a lot of weapon ranks. So attack 32. Oh, they only do 2 damage to him anyway. And with, hey, with, with that skill, he doesn't take anything. So you're going to be quite effective, I'll imagine. You know I need to position someone there for a dual strike. Kamui can go there, I think. 
You only have iron weapons? Really? Okay, let's try this then. Okay, that's not exactly the best. Yeah, that's not going to win, but it it's going to do a decent damage, I think. There are forts here. And she does the quote that's not as appropriate to that weapon. And I didn't even need Kamui at all. Okay, I might actually want to get rid of the gold bar from her inventory, because I don't want her to waste Spendthrift. Or is it a command activation skill? I don't actually know. Well, she has cap skill. And speed. Good, very good. But great defense too. Definitely want Xander to, uh... Yeah. Or Xander could go here. Uh, ironically, <laughs> Xander's son is actually a higher level than he is. So you have a Katana and a Naginata, which means I wanted to use a Lance here, but I get better defenses out of going that, so I'll do that. Okay, they all have Duelist Blow, so... And you do have Swords. I put Arthur there, he is very unlikely to actually hit. But I can try. Suppose I can go for that for better defensive powers, and go for... At least for massively powerful jewel strikes. And then Dwyer will just. You know, I guess Dwyer will do decently over here, now that I think about it. I'm not gonna Dragon's Vein yet. Okay, enemies, show us what you got. Let's see how this goes. I don't want to speak too soon, but this chapter doesn't actually look too bad. It will be a nice breather before endgame. You didn't even attack, okay. Alright, so we're gonna most likely have... Ah, ha, ha. I spoke too soon, I'm Dragon's Veining now. Yeah, that was... Uh, really? So... Oh hey, I actually do better damage with a hammer. That's it. Uh, holy moly, that's gonna hurt. Uh, Dragon's Vein! Okay, here's the problem though. You suddenly have much higher movement range. Yeah. Oh, I can kill one of them with silver bow. Okay, so I need to hit these veins now. Of course they wouldn't let you infinitely grind on Conquest. Hello Void Curse, my old foe. Uh... Rabbit Spirit's the equivalent of a silver weapon, that's kinda gonna hurt actually. So it is time for... Also, we have to watch out for you, cause you can swing around from behind. However, I shall Leo's Ice Blood you. <laughs> that is the most unenthusiastic I will protect you ever. You okay, that's actually really good. I like that. In fact, she healed exactly as much HP as she lost. And hey, it's totally fine for me to kill the Void Curse enemies with her because she doesn't actually, yeah, gain experience anyway. Okay, so there are quite a few Dragon's Vein points here. Yeah, I do have to be careful of the enemies in the area where- This is an interesting chapter though, because it's like balancing- You are still equipping a katana. But wow, you are actually- The enemies here admittedly, thankfully, are not too strong. What happens if I get a dual strike from, uh, hit rates aren't great. Let's go for that, then. Show me what you've got. Never fear. Ah, nope, never fear, misses here. And because of that, Arthur gains no experience from that fight. 
but he does do exactly enough for the Bronze Sword. Sword Ryuken! Evil has met its match. And that means he gets... I believe that would be Axe Breaker. Hmm. Why are you refusing to gain speed? Your stats are amazing apart from speed. He does have Axe Breaker, and I, I actually wanted to put Gamble back on him. That's what I wanted to do. Wow, that moment when Elise is better leveled than Odin. Yeah, let's go for that then. Oh, I had a feeling that would miss, actually. This is actually bad. This is actually really bad. Elise, please don't die. Thank you, Elise! You, uh, passed your test. <laughs> yes, she did! And Percy can still get attacked. Yeah, well, the good news is that you... You know, I wonder something. Uh, 19 and... That's still not gonna be enough. Yeah, you only having iron weapons is going to be your downfall, isn't it? I need to give you some better stuff. And I need to heal you. Hmm. Uh, he technically needs it more. But she has a better chance of hitting. Well, she could potentially also Luna. No quarter. And she did not Luna. Okay. And you need to be. Actually, hey, you get the benefit of ladies first, I don't you? Help. And you critted you. Oh, yeah, it is always active. Right. So that's a complete waste of a gold bar. Yeah, all right. I should not put gold bars in your inventory. That's... Oh, and you get another one. <laughs> well, it wasn't a waste of a gold bar. Sort of was, but anyway. Have a javelin. They're just clipping through his horse armor. That's... I don't like that 7% crit chance. Which did not quit, thankfully. That is going to speed seal him. And that is... on Kamui. Well, thank goodness I agree class to this that has better resistance. Ow. And, well, I wonder how this is going to work. Nope, nothing. No crit or anything like that. Oh, you're moving. You're all moving. Okay, more useless said Ah, but they're mages. Okay, yeah, Arthur does not like that at all. That's really bad, actually. Yeah, not even Odin likes them. Right, so we might need to, may need to change our plans here. Except I want you to die. Though even when speed sealed, he doesn't take all that much. Yeah, so Arthur... No bad idea. Well, that's only with a hand axe, though. I have to... Or... Xander and Effie do hate magic as well, but... Yeah, I want that vein... to go. Oh, they both have equal resistance. I guess I could just whack the far one. I can do this! 
Is that all? We still get weapon experience for that, don't we? I actually don't think we do. I think Void Curse might affect everything. Yeah, now, here's the thing. If I can actually kill that, that guy now, even though I won't get any experience for it, but if I can... Wow, uh, Elise actually does quite well. So we need to make sure that she is not in range of anything. I don't think she will be, actually. Although, I don't know if she'll be able to even get in range. Actually, this is not a bad idea. Actually, I just realized all the royals are here except Leo, the one who was in the cutscene. No experience there, but... Oh, uh, well. Alright, the problem is if Percy goes there, he can't get healed, and that means... Yeah, and he does get hit by two of them. 32 attack power, they will double him. And sadly, Arthur is not a, uh, as heroic as he is, he is not a royal, sadly, so you can't actually get the benefit of that. Uh, I guess I could do that? Yeah, oh, that might miss. No, it didn't! Good one. Such heroism! <laughs> Well, at least Arthur's going to catch up a bit from this chapter. Okay, now there is a bow using Kinchi Nut up there. Got to watch out for that one. We also have to... Yeah, you are a Void Curse enemy. And yes, yeah, soon we'll have to seal off that other dragon's vein. Okay, yeah, some of them will probably attack from close range if I do that. Need to make sure that most of them can only attack from a distance. That spot is water, so I can't go in there. Well, Camilla could go in there, but don't... Yeah, Nina can't really. Oh, now you're doubling, are you? I'd like for her to have a better sword rank, but still. Bask in the glory. Hey, life taker! That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, you can attack physically there. But if I go here, they can only attack from long range. And I was going to skip this because you don't have... Oh wait, you did have... You didn't have Void Curse. Okay, then. That's okay. Okay, our strength's capped. Hmm. Kamui has hurt a little bit. gives plus seven res. I don't know if that's gonna really work. So in this case, I will probably just sit here and heal. Dwyer, careful how long you spend around her or she's gonna start writing fan fictions about you. Okay, now only these two next, so... Oh right, that's also because of spendthrift. Do I really need spendthrift here? The problem with Sigbert is that his offense at this point is not that great because he's only got iron weapons and uh, he is not activating Luna very much either. He is definitely very good defensively though. And that is actually exactly enough. Which is going to waste another gold bar, but it's going to give her an opportunity to grab another one. One more! Well, Sigvert's another person who thinks he's playing Persona. Uh, you just swung right around there, didn't you? Fight as well. Okay. 
Okay, we got them incoming. Uh, yo uh oh, oh. That might not be so good. Hello there, uh, Void Cursing Archers. I think Sigbert would do pretty well against them, except, yeah, he needs to avoid magic. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I kind of want to use Mozo against you. The Master of Arms is actually not very much of a threat, which is amazing considering how big a threat Masters of Arms tend to be in the later Conquest chapters. That is a very weird dodge animation. And that is a very weird missing out on leveling up, and that is a strength seal. I think I need to heal Sigurd. We need to take down some of these dragon's veins before they start really over overwhelming us. He <sighs> probably needs a pair up to really double effectively. Speaking of doubling effectively, I think I need to actually have... Actually, Camilla can't one-round these guys. And I need to be careful that you don't do anything bad. Hmm. That is two possible chances at a, at a almost guaranteed kill. Okay, that's going to do a little bit more. I need either a second one or a crit. And I got neither. Of course I didn't. So, yeah. Actually, Camilla's the one who's lower on experience. I've dreamed about this. Did it hurt? Yeah, it probably did. Yeah, Camilla does gain experience at a much faster rate than most characters do. Oh. From what it looks like. That was actually quite good. Okay, finally you are capped there. So you actually did hit a cap. And those do exactly the same. Uh, hmm. That's not a bad idea, except she takes a lot of damage in return. And I mean, I mean, I would say soul would be great right about now, but I don't want to just rely on a skill because that is just not really good playing. And I need to seal that off now. And I also need to seal off these people's existences. Oh, Bowbreaker! That's why your hit rate's so terrible. I was wondering about that. Use... Oh, you still have Beast Killer. Perfect. I will need to Beast Kill something here. Maybe beast killing you is the best option. Oh, that's a shaky hit rate, though. Could I get some beast killer jewel strikes? Possibly, actually. If I go there, then attack the other one from range, I might actually get some beast killer jewel strikes. Okay, gone. Good. Good riddance. Like I said, Beast Killer Jewel Strikes. Hmm. Who stands the best chance of... Wow! Okay, that's actually some pretty impressive damage on a Hand Axe. Sort of want you out of the way. Be careful. I guess because Arthur and Effie are A-supported. Wow, that's really time to say goodbye! What did I say about Beast Killer Jewel Strikes? Never 
Ah, uh, again! He's... It's like just really... Okay, you cap defense now. See, my Arthur would be fantastic if only he had more speed. Just look at that strength, that defense, that skill, but that speed is just... Uh, not so good. Speaking of not so good... Uh, Sniper, you can't hit Percy from there, can you? Well, I can... Oh, that's... Five damage and double. Uh, please dodge one of these. Why are you not dodging? That was... Anyway, well... I know why. This game, that's why. And I need to heal, except that means that Elise will die. Actually... If you're exactly identical... Although, plus 5 speed when you initiate combat. Which will put you at 36, which will mean that you... Uh, wow. I think I have just enough to avoid getting doubled. And that means that I can safely have Elise go there, provided that you die. Yes, like I said, provided that you die. Okay. Well, that definitely hit. Nine damage. My darkness was darker than yours. Yes, it was. I mean, Pegasus Knights are kind of like the most light class in this game, so yeah. Good defense, though. Yeah, uh, this is gonna, again, seem very bizarre, but I actually think Elise will be fine if she actually goes here. I do want to close this vein soon, though. Bunch. And then there's just the matter of you. Because those stupid Void Curse guys... Oh, there's a vein right there. Though I can seal that off fairly easily. I like how these, these woods still give you defense bonuses, even if you're... Even if they're burned to the ground. Uh, I would really, really like a soul here, but I don't know. I did say that I wouldn't really do that. Just these stupid snipers right there. 36, wait a minute, how much defense do you have with the Dragonstone? Thirty-nine. Okay, thirty-nine, but they they don't actually have have quick draw. Hmm. Then that might actually work. And now soul would be appreciated, but you probably won't get it. You did not. Okay. And you didn't even get the dodge. But yeah, those snipers really, they can't actually hurt her. Like I said, they can't hurt her. And they just get, uh, sealed. Except, she doesn't really... Yeah, like I said, Elise is actually totally fine here. Elise not getting one shot her, that's a first. Except I haven't sealed off this vein yet. Okay, more enemies spawn up there, right. I wonder if they... I think they might do, like, alternate, so... Yeah, I don't really like the idea of you going in there on your own. Well, he finally doubles something. That could work. And he won't get strength sealed by, for doing this. Ah, uh, you just almost stole Elise's quote. A worthy opponent. Hers is no more holding back. And then Mozu finishes you with the Hunter's Bow, avoiding a counterattack. Someone told me this thing looks like a monster hunter weapon. 
all that could happen. I've never actually played Monster Hunter, but looking at some of the weapons in that, it does look similar. I did it! I really do like the Fire Emblem costumes in that game, though. Yeah, I've definitely been getting more lucky with Mozu on Conquest than I have on Birthright, and I'm very, very glad for that. Oh, yeah, I was about to say, oh, yeah, let's go get some experience here, and then I'm like, oh, wait, I can't do that because you, 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 yeah, you suck. Yeah, may as well go for the better crit rate. Like that. I love how short it is, it's just like, flash, bang! Oh, sweet. Bang, <laughs> Mjolnir explosion, enemy gone. Hmm. That's not good. But I could do that. That will require her to hit both, though. And yeah, let's just do the assault. Most efficient to finish off these Void Curse enemies with the person who doesn't gain experience. That was an interesting animation. I don't think I've seen that one before. Guess I did it right. Okay, let's just try and get rid of you. I'm here for you. And that hit. But that was a twirl, so it means that you did get the kill. Okay, this area is basically secured. There are only 17 enemies left, including those two stupid Void Curse ones. It's kind of funny, there are only two chapters so far where enemies have been using Void Curse and one of them's a Paralogue. Well, that will do it. Yeah, it would be more efficient to switch him to Wyvern Lord now, but uh, hmm. can't really afford the second seals for it. His defense is actually decent. Okay, yeah, you are the annoying ones. Because I know that they're gonna. And at this point, I really wish that at least had lived to serve, but yeah, alas, no. I would really like Arthur to fight some of the enemies here, but doesn't really look like that's a good idea at this point. Well, you are moving toward. Ah, look, some. some Void Curse Ninjas. With capped skill and speed, which, interestingly enough, cap at the same thing. Yes, yeah, so we haven't sealed that vein yet. Have we sealed this one? Oh, that will burn those forests. I reckon I could one-shot one of them. Yes, I can! This is also exactly why I didn't want to uh, give Effie... Why I thought Wary Fighter for Effie might not be the best, because she does double some enemies. Good. And if there are no more of, um, of these guys left by the time that the snipers come, Arthur together. should have free reign here. Knock it off. When's my turn? <laughs> Don't think I've heard him say that before. I might have, I may have just, uh, not heard it. Anyway. Actually, that does mean those snipers might be able to move further. I'm just trying to see if Elise would be in range. I don't think she would be. Dragon's Vein! Yeah, no, they're not in range. But Odin is now in range. Of one of them. But he would get dual striked. And next we have those Void Cursing Ninjas. I mean, do we have then? Then we have those guys. So we'll have to we'll think about them later. 
And we have lots of hurt people over here. So obviously more work for Dwyer. And you are far away from your father at this point. Hmm. A oh, poison strike. And a pair up. I wonder if I could try and lure a few of them in. The only problem is that. Nina... Oh, she does have a full guard meter. I could try that. Let's get Mozo over here too. I like that pier. That pier looks very cool. Okay, we've got two Puppet Masters incoming. I'll play with you. <laughs> <laughs> Which uh, Camilla wants to play with, apparently. Ow, poison. Oh crap, he gets doubled! Well, I'm glad I equipped Arthur's axe. See, this is what I was saying. If it weren't for Arthur's terrible speed gains this playthrough, I'll do my best. he would be really amazing. But it's just he gets doubled by... There we go, of course, yeah. And having Arthur fight snipers is not the best idea. Oh, I wanted Arthur to get more experience and it was going so well, and then that happened because his speed sucks. His growth is very good, which is bizarre. It's just like... Oh, you're moving. And some more useless enemies just spawned. Like I said, his speed growth is very, very... Well, it's not... Like, it's 50%. 50%! And yet, this whole playthrough, he's been getting, like... Like, I seriously had his speed growth estimated at 35 with how bad his speed was getting this playthrough. That's how bad I thought it was, and then it's actually really good? It's just bizarre. Then again, oh, I also have people tell me Niles is one of the best characters in the game, and well, he ended up abysmally awful for me. Like, absolutely terrible. I should probably equip Nosferatu just in- Oh, Odin had Bowbreaker, he could have tanked these guys much better. Overdid it. Again. Yeah, Arthur needed the experience badly and he could have fought those other ones, that was... I didn't expect that they'd double him, basically. I should have known about the crit rates, though. And you are still minus three in that, okay. And that's not a very good idea. Speaking of not a very good idea, I did not expect everything here to start and suddenly charge forward. Especially seeing as... Wow, you have really good resistance. Once bows are kind of a threat to Mozu, but... You'll be slowed down a little, so I guess I could actually use Sigbert here. Probably gonna use the Javelin, though, just for counterattacks against the Shurikens. <laughs> and you are now one of my most overlevel characters. I can help. Wow, his actually his stack growth is pretty good. Hmm. Uh, I guess I should go for that, and then everything's gonna just go stacks on her, and she'll probably die. See, this this haze actually makes it very hard to see where... I need to seal off that vein too. And if it weren't for you, I would just switch to Camilla here and everything would be fine. No silver weapons are terrible for choke pointing, you but oh well. You will fall. Whoop, that's not good.
It's just this area around the side of those platforms that's a problem. Yeah, because that's bad. She does decently here, otherwise it's just the... They have silver weapons. Only one of them can get her from there, though. I wonder if... Hmm. I suppose we can try... And then try forming a bit of a wall. Ah, oh, but you still have that. Or I can just one shot you. That's good too. That's it. She sounds a little bit severe like sometimes, actually. Okay, that's good. <laughs> okay, that means Dwy is out of danger. And I forgot to seal that off. Uh, I'm worried about that, actually. That means you have a devious plan in mind. Okay, good, that means that means no. That was a bit poison, though. At least none of you have poison strike, but you do have debuff skills. Uh-oh. Okay, I, I don't want to. I don't want to say it. I ah oh, jinxed it. Really, I was about to say as long as just thinking it jinxed it. As long as there's no critical, I'm fine. So yeah, that was just a seven percent critical there. I mean, they do have max skill, so really, it's not like that's like particularly. Uh, and, uh, she's another character that I needed to get leveled up to. I just uh, oh, that's gonna kill her, isn't it? I should have equipped the Dragonstone. Well, at least she was already max level, so that doesn't really matter. Shad was going okay, and then my trademark horrible luck just kicked in. I'm just not destined for greatness, am I? I'll protect you. I'll spot you. Not on my watch. Anyway. And you're the useless ones. And uh, useless general just appeared. Where's the vein there? I'm actually not sure where the vein is there. Okay, we got you incoming, which is not good. Because you both have silver weapons and spears. Okay, anyone have a better lance they can trade him? Anyone? I don't think so. And we have a couple of useless ninjas around here. The useless ninjas are probably the worst things here because they can actually debuff you. Because they can... Uh, yeah, I guess revenge for what happened to Mozu, but at this point it's little consolation. See, that was completely pointless. And that's not going to be enough. And, oh, hey, Poison Strike only works when you initiate a combat, not... Hmm. Okay, so, uh, oh, that's actually bad. That is... and that is really bad. So they can't really reach all that far, although that's gonna result in bad things happening to Nina. If I can weaken this one first, maybe... Ah, uh, Luna would have been appreciated. You are capped skill, you should be getting Luna more often. 
And... Oh, some of them would probably be able to hit her from there, in all honesty. She doesn't exactly have a spell that increases her defense. I need to get rid of this thing now. What can I do? Okay, that's... At least that's level 18 for her. Well, at least she's getting magic, which is good. Okay, that's... That might be useful. Oh, these skills are all really good, though. Too many good skills. Too many good skills. Too many good skills. Uh, maybe I'll get rid of that for now. And, okay, that ninja can't actually get to her. Probably should seal this vein soon. Probably should. Need to do that, and... <laughs> and then you... you go... Stand back, citizen! Whew! Tough one. Yeah, they were. Arthur found that out the hard way. Only 12 left. And there will be less left after I do this. DRAGON'S VEIN! Another reinforcement point has been burned to the ground. Yes, the only 20... I don't want it. Nope, shouldn't say that. Should not say that. Okay, good, that missed. Yeah, that was... I was... I almost jinxed that. And you still poison. I don't like that critical rate. I really don't like that critical rate. Yes, they should, because you have a lot of amazing skills now. And those are the use- Uh-oh! Uh, hi, Sniper! You, uh, yeah, I should seal that one, please. Uh, seal that one now! Uh. Except I need to get rid of you. And good thing that missed. Seems like Nina's being both a magic and a ninja counter. Speaking of ninjas, I don't like either of you. Don't like either of you at all. Especially since they could probably wear down even Sigvert. Oh, you have a... Really? Oh, that's really bad. That is really bad. I need to seal this, though. Dragon's Vein! Okay, good. He still can't go that way. That is extremely scary for Siegbert. That's still woods, though. It's hard because the game never tells you exactly how much. Hmm. The game never really tells you exactly how much the movement cost of... Why is there still an escalator? Oh, that's because of Elise. Exactly how much the movement cost through forests of mounted units actually is. So, I can't quite calculate if that's going to be able to... If that guy's going to be able to reach Siegbird if he goes, like, let's say there. Which is actually pointless, since he won't kill that thing. That, however, is a bit more points full. Yeah, I just don't know if it will be able to reach him. Okay, I actually it almost certainly won't be able to reach him over here. Ready and willing. Really? 
I knew that would happen! And that's gonna result in his defense being debuffed. Yeah, those... Okay, good, you can't even reach me anymore, but... Really? An 80% miss. And this was actually going okay, and then... Then that happened. Okay, as long as you aren't in range. Well, I can send Effie into here, use natural cover, boulder suplex. And she's going to die, most likely. That's still probably going to miss. Yep, big build up and then miss. And she doesn't have enough of a guard gauge to survive that. The words of Cordelia, sigh! Why did Sigbert have to miss that one? That was 80%. I do think those ninjas are really the only threats on this entire map, though, because just because of their debuffs. Everything else is perfectly fine, even easy, but just those ninjas. So this was what started out totally fine, ended up being just not going well. Okay, that's bad. And you don't even get any spirits from that, do you? Oh, really? Didn't help that I got 7% criticals. That Arthur thing was a genuine mistake, but the 7% critical though. And he's dead, of course! Ah, oh, another ninja. So yeah, out of all the enemies here, three of them have Void Curse. As long as this sniper dies though, and I need to use both of them to actually get him. At least the ninjas aren't a threat to... Nina at all. But you definitely are. Oh, or Camilla can just smash you. And I believe, yeah, you're a Void Curse Sniper, so yeah, I don't get anything from you. And really! Ah. I just, ah, oh, what is happening? I need to get stronger. Uh, you're already pretty strong. Seriously, what? What is up with all these things? Uh. Okay, yeah, that is not the thing that. Let's take him out. Yeah, you can still double like that. And now Percy needs a hammer. You can't hide from me. And this is a non-experienced enemy. Power overflowing. Actually, no, it isn't because you didn't get experience. So how many veins are still up? Just two of them, but one of them is the ninja vein. And the ninja vein is a very bad thing. Actually, that's not bad. Except, how many things do you get hit by? 12, 13. But if two of them are gone. Yeah, this might not actually be bad. Don't want to speak too soon. Pretty heroic, right? I was feeling so good about the start of this map, and then everything just went downhill. That had better not be foreshadowing for the end game. Let us begin. I do still have a castle invasion. 
And I should point out that because those are off camera, I do actually allow saving and reloading for those. I often do that just to make sure that nobody like dies and stuff there. Wow, you are- that is a dark line. Oh, hey, wow, that's actually pretty awesome! I, so, suddenly, Percy is doing very well with a Bolt Axe. He's being a really good general killer. Except that is a, uh, what I like to call a useless general. And thus is not going to give any experience. That, however, is not a useless vengeance. I do like how you don't get a second critical line if that happens. That is a very weird flip in the air, though. Tough one. That was a that fort transition took quite a while. Yeah, you, you are okay. That's good. I got a lucky dodge for once. And then you. You are a beast slash armor killer. Okay, thankfully the freeze one doesn't actually move, much like a lot of the other freeze enemies. Wow, Percy's actually on a roll here. That suddenly he's doing very well. Okay, probably because he's paired up with Elise, but still. He does get doubled by that, but you know if I eliminate this thing. Okay, there is the useless general there still, but I can destroy the useless general with Odin Dark. Body blow. And that's actually again not a useless vengeance. Overdid it again. And then there was the one ninja. Oh, all of those three don't actually move. Okay, I need to seal this one, so... Dragon's Vein! I wonder if these enemies don't have Void Curse if you're on Revelation. That's something that I was just thinking about. They might not, actually. That is the Ninja Vein. I need to destroy that, and fast. Otherwise, we'll have these ninjas running around all over us. And Camilla is surprisingly low-leveled. Glad that's over with. She definitely does seem to get more experience than usual. Okay, she actually oh. gained magic. And then... Yeah, let's get rid of you. This could be trouble. Have your Aunt Camilla handle this. Thank you. And Camilla is always his aunt. It's not one of those cases where it's a, where it's not always true. Okay, yeah. How will I deal with that useless ninja? I'm really not sure. Speaking of useless ninja, here's another one. No, but actually here. That's surprising. Her quick won't fit so well that family. Oh right, freezes works there. Okay. And you at least don't have a. Oh, you're standing on a vein. I thought you were. Okay, so useless ninja there. How do we deal with the useless ninja? We. This is actually kind of bad. Okay, possibly equip a physical axe and get a jewel strike. Which might do some damage to the useless ninja. That might help too. Horse kick! And stop that flipping like that. And then... 
Oh, now I suddenly have really high hit rates. No, oh, I guess I can go for that. Percy is definitely being very... a lot more useful here than he used to be. And then we still have that... you still have quite a few... defense seal. Then again, you're gonna... you're gonna be dead in one hit anyway, so I doubt that's really gonna matter. Uh, let's just... get a bit of a bonus from standing next to someone, and uh, not miss. Good. And now, we need to hightail it to that ninja vein. Yeah, you basically just get stuck freezing again and again. Oh, and another ninja spawn. Oh, you have a silver kukri, but you actually aren't in range of... Steel Javelin. Yeah, I knew you have one of those, like, cheating weapons. And if I can't one-round you, I get sealed. And that's not good. That, on the other hand, is good. Just need to be careful of that freeze one. Then again, if you don't I used the wrong weapon! Oh god, I'm dumb. I used the wrong weapon, and now... Oh, I guess I can beat him with lightning. Or Odin will get hit and die. That is... Why did I do that? Someone's gonna die because I equipped the wrong weapon. So if I do 24 and then 16, that should hopefully be enough. We can do this together. Not over yet. And there we go. Okay, good. That's... I have taught you well. Crisis semi-averted. That... that could have been close. I need to seal this now. I don't... At this point, I actually don't really care about that useless ninja. I just want to get rid of this vein. DRAGON'S VEIN! Okay, that should make things a lot easier. No more of these ninjas spawning. Wow, 8 damage, seriously. Ah, uh, stop freezing, Xander! And you just keep spawning more generals. Okay, yeah, I have to be really careful of that one. You do have a full guard meter, though, so... Maybe I can... Although, then you get hit by two things. Because one of them will waste the guard. Oh, then you attack. Yeah, I need to swing around the other way, like hit from a different angle. That is a pretty shaky hit rate, though. I don't know if I'll be able to... Yep, I knew it! Of course the 56 hits! I wish Aegis Law would be effective to debuff, but it doesn't. Well, that's at least guaranteed. How wonderful. Yes, how wonderful indeed. Okay, I kind of need to heal Odin now. I think maybe... Okay, so, equip Horse Spirit. I need to use at least to heal. Except, I really, really don't want her to get- Well, if she gets frozen, then Effie just runs up and kills the Freeze user. Yeah, this should be pretty good. 
Hold on a sec, I'm about to steal your glory. You froze him? Well, that's gonna make my job a bit easier. Yeah, I think you spawn generals every turn now. Cause like I said, uh, yeah. Or I can just Xander you because he needs experience a bit more. I can do this. If only Sigbert could use the Siegfried, he'd probably be more useful than Xander right about now. Okay, so we're, apart from that useless general there, we're almost done with this. Almost done with this. Just need to approach this last batch carefully, because I don't want to lose anyone else now. And that is also a fairly definite no. Oh, and you're frozen. Okay, at least we get to do a little bit of damage to these ones. And Santa does a lot. And yeah, you're just going to keep sporting those things pretty much forever, so... I kind of need to... Alright, you have Wary Fighter. Yeah, I kind of need to go in now, but I need to also be careful not to... Alright, because you have Wary Fighter. And you get dual strikes, so... That's bad. Kind of feel that that's probably the best, because yeah, Boulder Suplex just wrecks the boss anyway. You have my aid. Oh, just in the nick of time. I won't allow it! <laughs> that is practically Xander's catchphrase by this point. You see him use it a lot. And now, yeah, here's a problem, because we're going to basically get hit by two generals if we go here. I do want to get rid of the Wary Fighter one, though. And now, if either of these miss, I, I have a problem. But, obviously, they didn't. I guess people keep telling me that critical hits can miss in this game. I really don't think they can. The moment that you see a critical be calculated, you know the attack is already calculated to have hit. So, yeah, it's it's not going to miss. Skill activations can miss, which I think includes lethality, but... But, yeah, no... Like, critical hits can never miss. Oh, yeah, that's not good. However, you can go in and finish this one off. Leaving only one general. I'll protect you. Double great knights. Finished. Finally, the parents and children are fighting together, and that just leaves one more, which has a javelin. Although I think, uh, actually, you you don't actually kill him, so Percy is quite effective at taking you out. And let's just hope Nina can finish the job. Of course, this is this isn't uh, before. It's going to be one more general spawning because they seem to spawn every turn at this point. This is kind of an interesting chapter, actually. But yeah, you you're going to take a lot of damage from this. A lot of damage. And another one. So, who should take the boss out? I, as much as 
As cool as it would be for Percy, I doubt he's really going to need that. At this point, it almost feels like Xander should. Except Siegfried's not really a guaranteed hit. I'll be your shield. And it's going to be kind of bad if he misses. Oh, there's Vantage. Should have noticed that before. You. And he's gone, because Xander did a special kill animation. Good. So my luck didn't fail me there. Uh, speaking of which, Xander's luck is actually quite high. And a partner seal. Okay, so... We just need to get a royal to that point and seal it off, and then we've... basically done this. Because, yeah, Camilla can just smash you. Doesn't really matter if it doesn't, because you don't give any experience. Again, I'm wondering if they still have Void Curse on Revelation or not. And yeah, chapter's actually not over, surprisingly enough. Uh, who should... Yeah, let's have him finish it. Dragon's Final Vein! And now we've destroyed an enormous portion of this mountain, and it's over. So that was interesting. It did go kind of badly at one point, though. No, it isn't. I... Hmm? Uh... I'm sorry. Uh, so you didn't tell your father that you were in serious danger all the time? Oh. Father. Sigurd. But at least he does seem a bit different to the um, son of the main royal on the other route. He definitely seems much more capable of leading. Father? I'm sorry. No, he's actually pretty good. He definitely doesn't bring shame to his name. Um... What? Now uh, we could probably I... use someone like him. Listen. Uh, yes. Yes, it definitely is, but most of the brutality is out of the way now. Except, yeah, the chapters you're going to go into are going to be pretty, pretty horrifying. Yes. I see. <laughs> Together. Yes, I promise to, too. Yeah, so that was alright, though it did go kind of badly towards the middle. But that's an interesting chapter and a really huge map that's actually pretty cool. And Sigbert looks pretty good, actually. So with that, next time it will be the end game. But before then, I'll be trying to go to some My Castles to grind up all of the supports for the Royal Siblings, which might take a while. So bear with me until then.